members of our distinguished faculty and staff, family members, friends, and most of all, graduating students of the College of Journalism and Communications Class of 2023. Welcome to the Spring Graduation Recognition Ceremony. We are so proud of the nearly 600 students graduating this semester. This graduating class includes 464 masters, 131, um, excuse me, 464 bachelors. That would have been a big master's class. 131 master's students and one PhD student, uh, Rocking Robinson, who is receiving his degree posthumously. 58 graduate students are graduating with distinction and 274 undergraduates are graduating with high or highest honors. Graduates take up, yes, please. Graduates, take a moment, breathe, look around you. You may forget a lot of what I say up here, but don't forget how you feel at this moment. Don't forget the feeling of triumph you're sharing with your friends and the pride and love radiating from the friends and relatives seated above you. You earned this moment. If there is one word that I would use to describe this graduating class, it would be resilience. You endured a global pandemic that sent you into isolation at the beginning of your freshman year and throughout your sophomore year. You were forced to adapt to fundamental changes in the way we teach and the way you learned. But you were undaunted by the hardships you faced. Your perseverance and adaptability during that experience has been nothing short of inspiring. And ironically, the turmoil you experienced from health to political and social strife has made you even stronger. If nothing else, this experience will help you to understand and adapt to changes throughout your life. And in the rapidly changing environment we live in, perhaps be a defining feature of it. The author John C. Maxwell said, change is inevitable, growth is optional. You are here because you exercised that option. Your time at UF, in the classroom, and in our immersion venues, your interactions with faculty and staff, your connection to classmates, have all shaped you and prepared you for a successful career journey in whatever field you choose. Your life experiences over the past four years, your resiliency and adaptability, your determination and drive, will ensure that you will be among the emerging leaders that will define the future. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of CJC, to all of you, well done and congratulations. I also congratulate and thank all of the family members and friends seated here today for your support and your devotion to these graduates. You share this major achievement. Now I would like to introduce our distinguished college leaders who have joined me on the platform this morning. Dr. Spiro Kiusis, Executive Associate Dean, Dr. James Babanikos, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Affairs. Dr. Robin Goodman, Associate Dean for Graduate Studies. Dr. Marcia DeStazzo, Associate Dean for Research. Dr. Catrice Graham, Assistant Dean for Student Experiences. Dr. Juan Chen, Interim Chair of the Advertising Department. Mr. Ted Spiker, Chair of the Journalism Department. Dr. David Ostroff, Chair of the Media Production Management and Technology Department. Dr. Maya Hutchins, Chair of the Public Relations Department. 
Iman Zawahri, Media Production, Management, and Technology Lecturer. Christine Bouchon, Public Relations Lecturer, who with Dr. Babanikos will be our name reader this morning. Master's graduate, Amia Davis, our student speaker. We are also joined by Mark Kreiser, former president of the UF Alumni Association, whose son John is graduating this semester. I would also like to recognize some special attendees, family and friends, uh, faculty and staff, students. If you're currently in the armed forces or our veterans, please stand. If you are an online student, please stand. If you are, like I was, a first-generation student, please stand. And if you completed an internship or an immersion program, please stand. Thank you. Graduates, we're lucky. We really are lucky to be in the presence of the people who heard your first words and saw your first steps. They were there for the good and the bad times. They were there for the growing pains. They were there for the sheer, unyielding terror of teaching you how to drive. <laughs> they were here with you when you began your journey, and they are here with you now as you begin a new one. Let's honor them now. Graduates, please rise and give your parents and grandparents the standing ovation that they deserve. Thank you.